All right. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. All right. He to be. He exists. He is. All right. That's the Most Highest name. Okay. Bahashem, which means in the name. All right. Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son. Yahweh, He Savior, or He Deliverer. All right. Bahashem in the name. All right. Gracha. Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Holy Spirit, okay? The Racha Kodash, okay? Uh, I want to give double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. I want to say peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect out there, all right? Uh, of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. And our brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered, James 1 and 1. All right. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And uh, I had shared this video and uh, I was just watching it again and taking some uh, notes. Okay. And this guy is bringing out stuff that we bring out all the time. Okay. And uh, I just wrote down some points that he made in this video. But the title of the video is what kind of got me too, okay? It says, stop laughing. People are losing everything, okay? 18,000 cows burned alive, and that was here in Texas. 50,000 stores could close within the next, 50, uh, the next five years, okay? Major retailers, okay? Which is gonna directly affect, okay, the working class, okay? And who, who, who makes up the working class? so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, okay? They make up the bulk of the uh, working class, or shall I say, the majority of our people are the working class. Let me say that, okay? And, um, oh boy, he's just like, um, you know, people are talking about how bad things are, okay? But then they'll laugh about it. All right, so matter of fact, that brings to mind a scripture. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay, chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay, so there's a time and a season for everything, man. Okay, okay. Let's let me go. Let me jump to uh, let me just read, okay, verse 2, Ecclesiastes 3 and 2 a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal. You see, there is a time to kill, okay. Killings are taking place all over the planet, okay? It says, hey, uh, I believe that was uh, Sam Jack was in a movie called The Time to Kill, okay? That that comes right out of the scriptures, okay? It says, a time to kill, this is verse 3, Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, a time to kill and a time to heal, okay? A time to break down and a time to build up, okay? A time to weep. And a time to laugh. You see? There's a time to laugh. This ain't it. Okay? And as he states in the uh, the video, or the title of the video, stop laughing. People are losing everything. Because he's saying, like, you know, even, even these uh, reporters, so-called reporters that are reading these teleprompters that are being told what to say. Okay? which controls the minds of the masses, okay, which your, your so-called news, your media, okay, they'll tell you all this bad stuff and then it's just like, uh, you know, just like a little warm ending, you know, here it is, the building is on fire and people are jumping out of the window, yes, and the building is burning down and people are jumping out of windows, back to you, Kent. You know, like, 
like this is just supposed to, you know this is just a a a a a thing to overlook like no big deal you know oh well <laughs> yeah the building is completely crumbling <laughs> you know it's not a time to laugh okay let me read that again in verse 4 Ecclesiastes 3 and 4 a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance and you see a lot of people are in this this spirit of mirth okay Dancing and laughing all the time, especially Jake, man. Two-thirds of our people, all they want to do is, <laughs> like the other said, all they want to do is, is jump up and down, man. Jake just want to jump up and down, okay? Have fun, party and bullshit. Get as high and, and inebriated as possible, only to wake up and find themselves in a worse condition the next day, a little more broke, okay? And a little bit closer to to uh, their demise, okay. And number th this whole country's on drugs, man. Okay, if it ain't you know prescription medication, so called, they're on uh, the alcoholics, okay. They're on uh, illicit drugs, street drugs. Okay, and now you got the, the new zombie drug, you got fentanyl, you got all of this stuff, man. Okay, because these people are trying to escape reality. Okay, they're trying to escape the real. Okay, that's why in that movie, The Matrix, when old boy uh, Cypher went to meet that uh, agent, he said, I know this state doesn't exist. I know I can't taste it. But ignorance is bliss. People would rather just zone out and just ignore what the hell is going on. That's why, again, it says stop laughing. People are losing everything. Come out of this blissful mind state like everything is good because it's not, okay? Um. So, again, there's a time to weep. A time to laugh. This ain't the time to laugh. This ain't the time to be dancing and jumping around, man. We are living in very serious, critical times. We are living in the end. Okay? The whole the the, the whole economy of Babylon the Great is 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 falling right before people's eyes. But that's why. There's bread and circuses, okay? Keep their bellies full, okay? Keep their bellies full and keep them entertained. Keep them distracted. Keep that stomach full and keep it distract. Keep them distracted, okay? Same way Rome went down. That's why this is the revised Roman Empire, <clears throat> okay? This is Rome all over again, man, Okay? And it's going down in the same fashion. The money is devalued. Okay. You got these countries. They dumping a the dollar man. As the world reserve. They're dumping it. Okay. Then check this out. The dollar. The American dollar. Is only working. It only works. Because people believe in it. And a lot of people are starting to lose their faith in the in the dollar. A lot of people are starting to, 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 to buy silver, okay? Some others buying gold, okay? Because these things have true value, but even at the end, these things won't save anyone, okay? Now, uh, let me get a scripture, okay? Let me get a scripture. Let me pull back up this app. All right, let's go to the book of 2nd Esdras, the 16th chapter. And let's start at about, let's start at 18. Let's go to 2nd Esdras, 16 and verse um, 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. See, great mornings, while people are partying, laughing, and bullshitting. Okay. 
that's all to try to take their mind off of what's really going on. Okay? People are, are suffering, man. People are mourning. I was, before I even started this lesson, uh, foreclosures, all time high. Uh, rent, uh, rental, renting evictions, all time high. Every time I come here, there's a U-Haul or, or U-Hauls. People going, they got to get the hell out of here. People are going back and living with their parents, okay? Or, 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 or pooling together, you know, getting together in groups, living together in groups. Because they can't afford uh, the cost of living, so-called living, okay? So people are, <clears throat> are mourning, okay? But again, you got the bread and circuses, okay? Keep their belly full and keep them distracted. A lot of people are distracted, okay? And a lot of people, they figure, you know, well, it ain't that bad. I can still hit McDonald's, hit the dollar menu, okay? I can still go to Jack in the Crack, okay? Or, or, or uh, Taco Bueno, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Taco Bueno, baby. You know, they can still go to Taco Hill, okay, and get the get the 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 uh, the Cravens box. Uh, I think it's like five dollars or something. You know, eating this trash, okay. <clears throat> so let me keep reading. Let me read on. Let me read. So like you, okay. Um. Uh, Where was I? Okay, 2nd Ezra 16 and 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Okay, not mornings. Great mornings. And you women, y'all catching hell, man. Y the women that I know personally are catching hell. And guess what? They ain't got no man. They ain't got no man. The women I know, they ain't got no man. And guess what? They catching hell. Oh, domestic violence is at an all-time high. And guess what? A lot of the domestic violence is children beating up their mothers. Not their fathers. Not their parents. Their mothers. Whether it be the, 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 the male child or the female child, man. Okay? And a lot of uh, young late uh, young. Females, because you gotta, you gotta get it right, man. They ain't ladies, and they damn sure ain't women. So a lot of young females that have children going back and live with their mama, cause they can't make it. They don't even know how to make it. They don't even know how to survive, and they don't. They don't want a man because that's been taken out of their their their, their mind. You don't need a man, girl. A lot of these young females are tell you, I'm not, I'm not wife material. I ain't, I don't ever want to get married. I don't even want to be in a relationship. I'm just doing me. Okay. When all hell breaks loose and society finally crumbles, okay. These ravenous wolves that's gonna be roaming the streets, they gonna be doing them too. Okay. It's going to get real bad. It's bad now. It's going to get real bad, man. We almost there. Okay? So they got you with the bread. Keep your stomach full. And the circuses. Keep them entertained. Keep them distracted. Okay? And things are progressively getting worse worse okay let me read let me read second Ezra 16 and 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when all these evils shall come behold famine and plague Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. 
But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. No matter all the hell that the, that's getting put on earth, it's just going to, people are just going to continue on being wicked, man. Okay? Jake is going to continue to be, they going to, two-thirds going to continue to be wicked. Even though the Most High is putting all this hell upon us. Okay? It says, Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute, but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always, always mindful of the scourges. Check this out. Behold, victuals, okay, shall be good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Again, can hit the taco bueno. Can hit the Mickey D's. Okay? Get these little cheap GMO entrees. Okay? And so they, okay, well, I can still do this. I got about 12 bucks. We can feed, feed, feed uh, three or four people. Okay? It says that they think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And it's definitely that, man. There's definitely a lot of confusion going on. Okay? Uh, matter of fact, let me read a little more. It says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth, for many of them that dwell upon the earth, shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger the sword shall destroy you see it ain't gonna be no is is if one thing don't get you something else gonna get you okay this this shit is terrifying man and the scripture hey the scriptures say you know and because all this is being orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. Okay? The Most High is making all these evils happen upon the earth. Okay? Let me read this again. It says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So the Most High is putting out all this hell upon the earth and the majority of the people they're not going to be able to escape it man they're not going to they're not going to be able to escape it and let me say let me clarify the majority of israelites are going to be put to death okay and they're not going to escape the lord is visiting this place man okay he's sending these angels down to 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 destroy and stir up more hell upon earth. Okay? Let me jump. Matter of fact. <laughs> it's some more in this chapter. But you know what? I want to. Let me get something else. Me, matter of fact, let's go. To uh, let's go to Second Ezra six. Okay, we we'll stay in the same book. Let's go to the sixth chapter and the twenty second verse. Okay, because he in the title of this uh little article this this video. It says 50,000 stores could close within the next five years. They already closed in stores. And who's working at these stores? Jake. So all this stuff is directly affecting our people, man. Okay. Yet Jake still want to party and BS, man. Okay. Here it is. Car repos on the rise. Home foreclosures on the rise. Evictions on the rise. Okay? Stores are closing. 
the jobs ain't so if the stores are closed, where where Jay gonna go work, man? Okay. Ain't gonna be no grinding. Okay, the grinding is ceasing. As it says in uh as a matter of fact, let me just read. Let me read. Let me read. Let's go to second Ezra six and twenty-two. It says, um, and suddenly shall the song places appear unsung. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay. 18,000 cows burned alive in an explosion. Okay. A couple of weeks or a few weeks back, there was 100,000 chickens in Basra, which is a city in America. Okay. Go figure. Huh? Basra. Okay. Which is one of the code names for America. Okay. Because Basra was a, a a capital city in uh Edom. Okay. But uh it says suddenly, no, it says the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay. So if the if the storehouses are empty, how the hell are you gonna get product to the consumer? They ain't going to come. Then what's going to come after that? Men are going to turn on one another. Wish this guy, he speaks about it in this video. The the person that's your next door neighbor who, you know, y'all got along. Y'all invited one another to the barbecue. Uh, uh, he, his wife brought the potato salad. You know, his kids came play with your children outside in the back on the jungle gym. Okay, you know, he, he borrowed your hacksaw, you know, you loaned him your power drill. Y'all real cool. Y'all watch out for one another. Old oh, neighbors watching, neighborhood watch. D those people right next door. Okay, they're going to turn on one another. And the scriptures speak about that. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Okay. Let's get that. Let's go to 2 Ezra 15. Let's stay in the same book. Let's go to 2 Ezra 15. Let's start at uh let's start at 14. 2 Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. Woe means destruction. Death. Woe. It's a bad condition. It's a bad time. Woe, like when somebody say, woe is me. Woe is me, which is not common anymore. But somebody sitting there saying, woe is me. That mean, that don't mean they haven't, things are not going good for them. Okay? It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princesses. All the so-called laws and shit, and the police. Police are going to be chunking their badges in, man. You know what? I got to protect my family. To hell with this, the shield. Okay? To hell with that, that, that Rothschild shield. They don't know that, but they're going to be chunking them in, man. And a lot of them ain't going to want these people out here that's running crazy to know they on the, the side of law enforcement. Because they're going to be for some of the first ones to get it, man. Okay? A lot of them, their conscience going to kick in. Look what's, what's going on with this is happening to uh, the average American. Some of them going to catch a conscience. Okay? But people ain't going to regard the kings and all princes, the the mayor get on 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 TV. People, we need to stop this looting. We need to stop this killing one of the. They not people ain't gonna give a damn. The president can come on. They people are not gonna give a damn. Okay, and they want this whole scene to get chaotic, man, so they can bring so called order out of chaos, man. Okay. Cause they got to, there's got to be something that's gonna uh, usher in this 
N to the W to the O, all right, and usher in the M O to the T to the B. Okay. And it's so crazy that like right now, I'm talking in code because if I say what it is outright, they might pull the video, man, for telling the truth. Okay? Hey, in a time of war, truth is the biggest, the biggest enemy, man. Okay? And it's definitely a war going on. Alright. It says Second Ezra 15 and 16, for there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in, in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay? Hey, they're going to have these cities on lockdown. It's already set up that way. And then, you know, me and the brothers, we were talking like, you know, you go through the toll now. There's no people sitting in the toll booths no more. That's done. Okay, that's done. These could very well, which we believe, going to be checkpoints. Okay, where you going? State your business. How long you plan on being there? Let me see if you have clearance. This is what's coming. The so-called... American way of life, that's about to be flipped upside down, man, before the destruction, okay? It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and not and shall not be able. Out here, you got the, the 99, okay, which is a major loop. Then you got the Beltway, another major loop. You got 610 loop, okay? And all these things... Uh, surround the city. They encompass the city, man. Loops. Huh. So was it put up as a convenient, conveniency for people to, to commute? Or is there a bigger agenda to keep people corralled? Okay. <laughs> Which is something most people don't even think about, man. Because why? They mind is full of bread and circus. They mind is full of the circuses. Okay? Oh, the NBA this. Uh, E-40 got put out of the game. Oh, uh, is Jay Morant coming back? Oh, the, the NFL. Such and such is taking a knee. And this, that, and the third. All these things are distractions, man. I don't even hardly look at sports no more, man. Like, if it's a fight coming on... I might check that out with brothers. Other than that, I couldn't tell you last time. I, 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 I for Number one, I don't even have damn time for that shit. Okay? And if I did have time, that's not what I'm going to waste my leisure time on. Okay? So, things are getting more. Let me say, things are getting progressively worse. Progression, progressively worse. Okay. Uh, let me see. There was another scripture I wanted to get. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Oh, let's go to uh, back to Ecclesiastes. Let's go to twelve. Ecclesiastes twelve. Let me do that so that old screen don't tie my. Go to Ecclesiastes 12. Let me find the verse. Uh, Alright, this is Ecclesiastes 12. I'll just get straight to the point. 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble... And the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Oh, but for, for damn sure, the daughters of music have been brought low. Okay? Because this music now, it... 
if you want to even consider it to be music, is some of the most low vibration crap ever. Like, music is supposed to be uplifting, man. This music is, is demonic. It puts you in a demonic mindset. Kill the ops. Smoke this nigga. Do this drugs. Take this man's woman. It's all demonic, man. And it puts our people at a very low vibration. Okay? And that's a, a big part of why they out there acting a fool, man. Okay? And Esau knew this. He know that. So he used music as a weapon because his blessing was the sword. Okay? So he uses music to do that. Because Jake loved to listen to music, man. I love listening to music. But you guys got to be careful about what it is that you're listening to. If you're not, you know, rooted. Okay? And you used to be bobbing your head and looking like, okay, catch yourself. You can put yourself back in the mindset of being in the world, doing whatever they is that they talking about in the song. Uh, yeah, might not want to listen to this shit. Okay? Um, oh, let me go up a little more back into this verse, Ecclesiastes 12. Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 4, it says, And the door shall be shut in the streets, and when the sound of the grinding is low, okay, and the grinding is low, man. Back in verse 3, it says, The grinders cease because they are few, okay? The grinding is low. The economy is, is, is damn near at a standstill, man. Okay? Even, and it don't matter what, what business sector you're in, what, 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 what part of the workforce you're in, because look at what they did in Silicon Valley, man. Okay? All these techs lost their jobs. Okay? From the techs in Silicon Valley all the way down to McDonald's getting rid of uh, a lot of their workers. Okay, things are going automated. Yeah, I forgot that. Things are going automated, man. They say a computer can do my job better than I can damn do it. It's a little skit off of uh, an Outkast uh, album, you know? And yes, a computer can do. And a lot of these AI, these computer-generated uh, programs, guess whose jobs they going to hit first? Because Jake is out there doing the, the hard labor. You women is sitting behind that desk or remotely working, you know, data entry, and customer service, call care centers, all this type of easy sitting on your ass just talking to customer service. Shit, whenever I call to say something about my phone, guess what I get? Ooh, 144. Okay. Guess what I get? Automated, automated. Then, if you lucky, you may be able to press zero somewhere along the line and talk to a real person. Maybe. Go to the grocery store. They got one checker, one person behind a register. Everything else, self-checkout. Again, the toll boots. Ain't nobody sitting in them toll boots. You get the, the ticket either come in the mail Unless you got the tag for your car. You see? And it's just out of your account. They deduct it out of the account. Everything is going digital. You see? But yet, bread and circuses. Okay? The distractions are there. Again, the same thing that was going on in ancient Rome. And this place is going out in the same style and fashion. Okay? Except this, see, this this will never be revised again. Okay? This is going out in a greater fashion, I should say. So like it. Okay? Um, let me see if it was anything else. Because I wrote down a bunch of points. Oh, I didn't, I failed to mention this. A majority of the people are living paycheck to paycheck. There's a homeless crisis. The housing market is crashing. Okay. 
And when we was on the block, I misspoke. I said uh, 58 Chicago schools uh, have students that can't read. Well, that was a mistake. I misspoke. It was 55 Chicago schools. Okay. There are 55 schools in Chicago with not a single student that is proficient in math, man. In math. 55 schools. Chicago is like the poster child, man. That's the that's that's like what they doing in Chicago. Just let it be lawless. Kill them up, shoot them up, bang bang. Uneducated, just letting them run wild. That's 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 the poster child, man. Okay. They just letting them run wild in these in these these cities. Okay. They letting letting them right out of jail, which. It's all of all BS, okay? But you sitting here allowing these things to happen. It's all to bring in an N to the W to an O, okay? Uh, evictions are at an all-time high, okay? Which I, I mentioned that cities are going bankrupt, man. Cities, Okay? Cities are going bankrupt. And what the media wants people to be concerned with is, is, is global warming, okay? And and giving rights to the to the Moes and the Bows, man. To the LGT and the rest of that. Okay. As a matter of fact, I wanted to read a few of these comments. Okay. Just to pick the mind. Of the masses. Okay. Pick the mind of the people. All right. Uh, the dairy farm disaster happened just about 50. No, wait a minute. Okay. That ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. It says, this dairy farm disaster happened just 50 miles from my house. It is devastating for the local community. And probably will increase the cost of dairy products nationally. But the country is worried about DQ shows for our children. <laughs> you see that? The media wants you, the people to think about this. Okay? Because that's how they control the minds of the people. Through the media. Think about this. This is what we want your mind on. This. Oh. California is getting plummeted, okay? Last week, Fort Lauderdale Airport looked like a damn lake. This is the things that's going on. Everything is blowing up literally while people, while arguing about pronouns. Yeah. Look at all of the... Uh, the uh, processing plants that have gone up with gone up in flames, destroyed within the last year. Okay. Yeah, people people are talking about how bad things are and then laugh because in people's minds they think Babylon is gonna be healed. But it's not. Okay, somehow it's just gonna bounce. It always bounces back. You know, we'll be okay. <laughs> the economy will come back. <laughs> you know, okay. Bears and bulls. Yeah, bulls. Shit. All right. <whistles> I have stayed out of debt my whole life, but this is eating everything up. Yeah, ain't gonna be no more savings. Most people don't even have savings. The majority of people can't afford a $400 extra expense. That's crazy. Consumer spending is down. And I'm just brainstorming, man. Okay? What puzzles me is how I still see so many people buying new cars. That's all on credit. 
trucks, RV houses, vacations, etc., eating at restaurants, going to the movies, etc., 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 while prices fit, because they're going to spend, even if it's their last, to get that blissful feeling. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yes. We can sit at the restaurant and watch this movie. We'll be broke. I'm putting it on my credit card. We'll be broke. But we'll get that blissful feeling just for a little bit. That Just release that little bit of dopamine in our brains. Then back to hell. It says, while prices for everything are, are ridiculously high. Bro, a dozen of eggs, $6. Eggs. While the prices for everything are ridiculously high and so many other things are so uncertain. Perilous times, man. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that scripture. All right, 2 Timothy. All right, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, which that's where we are, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own, for their of their own selves, salakia, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incon incontinent. Fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And this is going on, man. This is going on. This is the last days. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me get the word perilous. Let's look up perilous. Let's go to the Etamon. Perilous. Let's go to online etymology dictionary. Dangerous, alarming, risky, involving exposure to death, destruction or injury, spiritually dangerous, perilous. Let me see. All right. Full of danger, risky, involving exposure to debt, destruction, injury. All right. Okay, that's the same one. Salakia. Uh, let me see. Okay. Things are risky. Okay, hey, you taking a chance just leaving your house to go to the store and come back. Okay, would Jake like to say uh somebody getting pressed? People out there just getting pressed, man, for their goods or whatever they may have. Jacking is at an all-time high. It's like at least once a month I pull into these apartments, this car sitting on bricks, sitting on blocks. Okay? And I got the pictures to prove it. Okay? I got the receipts. Okay? Let me read a little more of this uh, comment. It says, while prices for everything are ridiculously high and so many other things are, are so uncertain, perhaps, perhaps, okay, let me look up the word uncertain. Of indeterminate time or occurrence. <laughs> Not fully confident. Okay. Not fully confident, man. You just don't know. So you can't put... Uh, and then he goes on to say, perhaps it is a way of coping. I'm just amazed how they can afford it. They can't. 
It's all based on credit. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just reading a couple of these. Oh, this is a good one. Jesus, what a nightmare for those cows. I can't imagine that kind of suffering. Cows are not dumb animals. It's mind-boggling, man. People are more... So you more concerned with what happened to the cows? The cows themselves? Other than the trickle-down effect of what is going to happen because of that happening? That's why this is Babylon the Great. This is a land of great confusion. Okay? And it's about to be destroyed. But the, most Americans don't want to hear about the... Yeah, they don't want to hear the truth, man. they rather hear lies. Most Americans don't want to hear about the reality of our world until the wheels are actually falling off the car. The best we can do is prepare and pray. Yeah, the Israelites... Everybody else, you, you're done. Okay? Just like this lesson. And Lord willing, this was edifying. And I'm going to end it right there. Until the next time, I say shalom.